David Vincent from Stepney, London, wants investment to open a new nightclub called Sankey's and a disused mill in Ancoats, Manchester. Will the Dragons see it in the same way? My name's David Vincent. And I'm going to tell you about the project I want you guys to potentially to get involved in. Um, we're in Manchester, and Manchester is synonymous with great clubs like the Hacienda, great musician bands like New Order. But Manchester is waiting for something really exciting, a new club, a new underground club, and a club called Sankey's. We've um, got the rights on a disused um, old factory, a 200-year-old factory. It's where they say the Industrial Revolution started it off. The building is actually called Beehive Mill, but it used to make soap, soap about 50 years ago, actually Sankey Soap. And we thought it would be appropriate to call the club Sankey's. We want to create the world's best nightclub. Um, we want to have the best sound, the best lighting, the best entertainment. The market is Manchester. There's a massive student market, 100,000 students at the moment. And we need like, partners who get involved, not for the money, but for the love. Whilst trying to bribe them with his mojitos, in a jittery pitch, he's asking for the dragons to invest into his Sankey's nightclub. Peter wants to get down to business straight away. First of all, I've got to say, this is a lifestyle business. And the way you've come dressed today, you quite clearly fit the bill. In fact, you look quite scruffy. And Mr Vincent, you look like you've been partying all night. To be fair, Pete, I'm not going to you, I've been partying, you know. <laughs> I was just, you know, just from an after party about 20 minutes ago with all my mates, you know. Um, you know, to be honest, I've been partying for the last 36 hours. hope it doesn't affect my presentation, though. Peter does not like scruffy dressing, and David's answering about his excessive partying is not going to attract any investment. So this club you talk of, Sankey... Soap. And it's in the middle of where? In Ancoats. And coats. And you say it's underground? Yeah, it's very underground. Right, so it's an old soap factory, it's underground, it's in the middle of nowhere, and you say there's no street lights. It's not the kind of place I'd like to be sending my kids. In fact, it sounds quite dangerous and uh, extremely edgy. Exactly, Peter, you totally get it. David is winding up the dragons and better be careful or he will get burnt. Projections. You've not talked about any projections whatsoever. What is your first year? Well, you know, a lot of clubs are using video technology, you know, them type of projectors. I want to use more LED projection projectors. They're a lot more... Kind I'm of not style. talking about video projections, visuals. I'm talking about money projections. What other streams have you got? Well, I know across the road they've got the Manchester Ship Canal. I've heard enough. I'm out. A furious Peter has heard enough. It's not looking good for David. Now Theo steps in. Looks very doubtful that David will secure any investment. Listen, so if I'm going to invest my children's inheritance into Sankey's, uh, I'd like to know what I'm going to receive in return for this. Well, we're going to be creating the best club in the universe. You know, obviously we have the best sound system, best LED light rigs, good crowd, drinks that you just enjoy, the mojitos. But more importantly, a guy like you, we can have, you can have, you can have your own like private booth in the main, in the main room, and you'll be able to pour any fit birds you want there. Hop in. With a new Playboy business partner, Theo, David cleverly secures the investment for his Sankey's nightclub when it looked doomed. So, David, it didn't look like you were going to get anywhere in that pitch. How did you manage to pull it around? Well, you just have to look at a man's weaknesses. It's always going to be women. As soon as I told uh, Theo there was going to be loads of fit young women, he soon forgot about his family. Well, very well done with that pitch. And I uh, wish you good luck in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>